hi guys welcome to another video on the bougie budget uk channel hope you're all doing well um it feels like i haven't filmed in ages because i have filmed my last few videos ooh, sunday before last so yeah i don't even know what the date was like the 20th or something and today is the first of february january is finally over <laughs> january felt like it was just going on and on and on but it's finally over and we are in the month of love february so yeah hopefully you guys have some good plans let me know like, if you celebrate valentine's day whether it be with yourself a partner a friend family whatever what do you have planned um but yeah i'm looking forward to getting through february and yeah hopefully that sounded negative but i meant i meant that in a positive way like i thought that february is going to be good but anyway today i am doing a check-in i've got a little bit of side hustle money that i'm going to stuff with you guys and we'll talk a little bit about the 1k giveaway as well i'm not announcing it just giving you an update so check-in so it has been a spendy couple of weeks i mean yeah i've been <laughs> i've been enjoying my money so in food i believe the last time we spoke when i was doing my cash stuffings i had 114 here and now i've got 10 20 30 40 50 60 75 so I spent what 65 pounds which is not bad for a couple of weeks i went to tesco's yesterday um and spent some money and i feel like i'm pretty much fully stocked yeah not eating takeaways eating at home so yeah feel good about that um i don't think i've spent any money out of fun so i've got 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 yep so still got the same amount in fun i have been doing things <laughs> i've been out but that money's all come from different pots so haven't spent any fun money we didn't stuff hair didn't stuff lashes i did get my lashes done but i paid um on apple pay uh we didn't stuff nails oh i had 38 pounds in pedicures don't have it anymore because i got my toes done and i had 25 pounds in personal care and i spent that yesterday actually or the day before i topped up on some toner okay then we have let me just double check that we're still recording and we are we have sinking funds so i already know that i spent some money out of my nephew's sinking fund he has gone up a shoe size so i bought him two pairs of trainers but one of the pairs he already had um in the correct size yeah so in his size that he's gone up to he has the same pair of trainers so i've returned those yesterday so i'll put that money back in here when i get my refund so now he has 20 40 60 80 90 plus that 35 pounds from those trainers so that's what one two five and a little bit of change so he's good i don't think i spent any eating out money but let's double check yeah i haven't 20 40 50 so i've still got eating out money i've got what i stuffed and because i'm not having takeaways hopefully i will not spend that although i'm gonna get my nails no that's on sunday yeah should be fine shouldn't spend that and then i spent a little bit of money out of gifts because i bought my nephew a valentine's day card not that he can read but i wanted to so i did so in gifts there is 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 30 40 yeah and then that change left over and i bought my other half a um valentine's day card as well so that's probably what that is um home i bought some tulips from tesco's which are now dying so i bought the tulips on saturday today's thursday when i'm filming and yeah they're already dying that's why i don't buy flowers from tesco's but the tulips just look so pretty now they're like all dull so I w yeah i need to go back to going to get flowers from aldi there's 20 pounds in there and i will probably oh 24 pounds so i'll probably get another bunch of flowers this weekend 
Shopping I haven't spent, so there's still 205 in there. Is there? I think I spent £10 on something. I did. I bought myself an Easter egg. So in Marks and Spencers, they have the biscuity egg, um, which is like, sh I think it's shortcake biscuits covered in chocolate, and they've somehow fashioned it into an egg. I'm not going to eat it yet. I'm not going to eat until Easter Sunday. I think it's when you're supposed to eat your Easter eggs or somewhere around there. So I've put it away. But yeah, I had to get it because I thought, oh, people are going to sell this out. And that was, it was £10. £10 for an Easter egg. But I was like, you know what? I'm grown. <laughs> Buy my own Easter eggs now. So I did it. But still, I was like, 10 And the box is not even that big, to be honest. So I was saying on Instagram, it better be the best Easter egg I've ever eaten in my life because ten pounds is mad. But I've got leftover twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. So one nine five still in there. And if I'm being honest with you guys, uh, when I got my bonus in January, so obviously you saw me do my cash stuffings. And I had some money left over that I kept in the um, bank for spending. And I've pretty much spent all of that money, I'll be honest. What I'd like to do, especially if it's like, if I don't need the money for something, right? So I had met my savings goals last month and I like to split any extra money between spending and saving. Try and do half and half, but more so last month it was on the saving side, finishing off last year's challenges. But I had about £800 left. And I bought a lot of things, things that I wanted, though, things that I had been looking at for a long time. And I was like, you know what? I've saved this money. We finished off the challenges. We've started new challenges, stuffed all the sinking funds, stuffed the cash envelopes. I'm good. I'm going to treat myself. So I did treat myself to a lot of things. Um, what did I buy? That sounds bad now, because now I can't remember what I bought. <laughs> I bought some stuff for my nephew. I bought some stuff for my partner, actually. I bought him some clothes um i bought oh, i bought a really nice dress from rat and boa um but it's a holiday dress because it's completely sheer um which means like i need to wear like a bikini or something underneath it i'm not going to go out in a sheer dress just because i'm abroad um i also bought oh i bought some clothes from i think it's mason no man manier de voir or something that brand that had um that controversy with the uh CEO or whatever he was was talking about how black people don't support him. I wasn't doing it because of that. I was doing it because the clothes were cute. So I bought some clothes from there. But yeah, I basically treated myself to more expensive clothes that are higher quality that I'd been wanting for a while. And I don't regret it <laughs> at all. So that's why shopping Sorry, I was just looking at email. Um, that's why shopping still has a lot of money because we had the bonus money to spend, or not we, I had the bonus money to spend. Um, work lunches, I stuffed 100 uh, on payday and now I've got 20, 40, 55. So spent 45 pounds in two weeks, that's fine because yeah, it's not changed, it's still Itzu <laughs> all the time. I had some, um, I went to work yesterday, I had some gyozas in Itzu, which was so good. I don't want to add them to my um, regular order, though, because it's getting too expensive. Um, and I don't think I spent anything else. OK. And we have spent some money. I keep saying we. It's not we. It's just me. I spent some money out of um, savings challenges as well. So obviously haven't touched Christmas. Uh, holidays. I booked my flight to Bali, yay! So I booked my flight, business class flights with Qatar Airways. They ended up costing me. <laughs> they ended up costing me four thousand eight hundred and three pounds and seven pence, I believe. I'll put a screenshot up on on the screen. But yeah, it's a lot of money. But I already told you guys, I'm doing what I want when it comes to my, when it comes to my money so had the cash booked the flights booked the transport for while I'm there booked um the hotel the main hotel that I'm going to stay in I didn't have to pay for that though I can pay for that when I get there and then so I, I reserved it I didn't book it I guess and then I just need to book another hotel for when I arrive 
um, which I'll do next month. I could do it now, really, but yeah, I'll do it next month. And I need to get insurance as well. Very important to get insurance. Um, I will probably want to get um, multi-trip insurance, which it only occurred to me to do that when I heard uh, Iris Budgets talk about it on one of her videos. Even though I work in insurance, I don't work in that type of insurance, but I've, I know enough about insurance that I should have thought that that was the best thing to do. And I found a quote for like £80 for worldwide cover. So I'll probably book that. Um, I'm not going to take the placeholder out because we are working towards an overall goal. And I like the way the placeholder looks, so I'm going to keep it in there. Uh, didn't spend house deposit. We didn't buy a house this week. Um, oh, I spent money out of Lux Fund. That's where I used the money for Rat and Boa from. Yes, yes. So I spent one fifty from Lux, and I've got fifty one twenty thirty five left. So out of my bonus money that I still had left in the bank. I didn't buy the Rat and Boa dress. I bought, I bought practical things as well. I will say I bought like pots and pans. I bought some um, Ninja Zero Stick pans, the stainless steel ones. And I bought some other practical things, topped up on some stuff. But yeah, the Rat and Boa dress actually came from Lux. Oh, and I spent money on my birthday as well. So I had 350 now i've got 150 so the main thing that i wanted to buy from birthday was airport pros and they had gone down on amazon to 200 pounds so i bought them i thought what's the point of me waiting until my birthday at the end of may and i don't care if they do like a, a new release or whatever i feel like yeah once you get to a certain point it's all the same right so i bought a pair of um airport pros from amazon imagine the guy came <laughs> first he came so i bought the like, case to put the, the airpods in like you know the rubber case this i bought this and i bought the airpods so he came he gave me the first package which had that case that i just showed you in and um he just posted through the letterbox so i was like okay i came to the door and he was at the car and I was like, excuse me, like, do you have another parcel? He's like, yeah, yeah, I've got another parcel. It's that they can't, um, the app makes them do it one at a time. Fine. He comes back with my AirPods. You have to give a passcode um, when you're receiving, I don't know, maybe it's a certain value to Amazon. So I had to give them passcode. And I'm thinking this box is light. What's, what's going on with this box? Why did they deliver me an empty sealed box? The box was empty, so I'm feeling it. I'm like, this is there's nothing in here, right? But let me open it. It was sealed, right? So I don't think he stole the AirPods. It was empty. They sent me an empty, sealed Amazon box. I was like, okay. So I went straight to customer service, and they said, "We'll send you another one free of charge." That is supposed to come tomorrow, which is Friday, when this video will be live. So hopefully, I get my AirPods. All right. But the thing is, I'm not too fussed i can laugh about it because amazon customer service is actually pretty good anytime i've requested a refund or anything like that it's been fine but yeah hopefully tomorrow i get my airpods or i get my 200 pound bag we shall see that was a long way of saying there's 150 left in my birthday okay and that's it so oh. we have let's actually do side hustle first so in side hustle money this week which is very rare for me to have side hustle money these days because there's no time to side hustle but anyway i've got 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 pounds now i know where some of this money is going but not all of it so i'm going to put 10 pounds in this scratch off challenge because we scratched off ten pounds last time, so now I've got twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. I actually need to start using this money to pay for my group PT classes. That's what I've been using some of my bonus money for as well. But really, those classes should be coming from this fund. So let's scratch off the next one, and I want to complete this top line. Is that the? Oh my god wow <laughs> 35 pounds 
okay we will find a way to make it work <laughs> no it's fine i let me just do that i was hoping there's gonna be a low one and i would just stuffed it from this money but guess not so yeah 35 pounds next week and then in this challenge oh, the dice don't I? yeah we're gonna save five everything wants to be high today in it i'm actually gonna take it from this so give me a five i'll put a ten in like so and then where are you five tick off a five okie dokie just taking all of my the little bit extra income i've got just taking it all okay so that is those challenges 35 pounds that's 35 pounds i spent that oh no like Mm, I spent less than that in Tesco just there. I spent £25. 35 These better all be fives. Because <laughs> then, yeah, these must be low, right? Because then I would have 105 Because I just counted 70, right? So I'd have 105 So these must be like... Hmm, maybe there's a 15 in there somewhere. Damn it. It's fine. We'll do it. Can't be spending money and then... I don't want to save anything. Um. Also for side hustle money i'm gonna put 40 pounds into nails so i can pick it up so 10 20 30 40 because i need to get my nails done before valentine's day give me a little valentine set and then how much have i got left got 35 hmm and we scratched off 35 didn't we <laughs> let me think about this logically first right i don't want to um all right lashes are taken care of won't need another pedicure don't need anything from personal care we've got money for food and i've got fun money the baby doesn't need anything don't need eating out definitely don't need gifts home shopping uh, i'm only going into work two more times before payday uh, he doesn't need anything that money's going to be gone by valentine's day anyway because i'm organizing date night oh and on the subject of date night skip if you don't like people i don't know if you don't like people talking in their videos but <laughs> we went to um oblix west in the shard last week saturday yeah, last Saturday, which was really nice, actually. Expensive. I was glad it wasn't my date night. That I would, Like, I wasn't the person that was organising it and paying it for it. Because <laughs> it was expensive. Um, but it was really good. Had steak, had lobster, had um, dauphin wild potatoes. Had a really nice, like, chocolate pecan dessert thing. Um, and he had a New York cheesecake, cocktails prosecco yeah it was really nice so if you want like a special date night or like a lot of people that were there celebrating their birthdays as well then i would recommend if you're in london or can get to london go to oblix west because it was really nice um don't need money for coffee so i guess i'm gonna put that 35 pounds into the scratch off challenge makes sense right um Oh, and another thing. Thank you to all the people that said that I needed to save a bit more for Disney Land Paris with my nephew. Um, yeah, because I've never been to Disney before. I just picked that number, that £3,000 off the top of my head. So a lot of people said that probably wouldn't be enough. It'll be a long weekend, just the two of us. Um, I don't want to take him for a week because I don't have kids, right? So I spend a whole week alone with a child, even though he's like my favourite person in the whole wide world. I don't want to do it. Um, <laughs> but I'll go for four grand instead. It's not until 2027. So I'll save, continue to save £1,000 this year. And then I'll do £1,500 next year and £1,500 the year after. Um, and then I feel like four grand should be more than enough for like a Thursday to Sunday. Because I want him to do everything. 
I want him to say, I've been to Disneyland Paris, don't need to go again because I've done everything. And then we'll work on the rest of the parks as he gets older. Um, but yeah, thank you for those seasoned Disney travellers who told me that three grand just wasn't enough. And probably the price is just going to keep them going up and up and up anyway. So better to have more than not enough. Right, so let's add in that £35. So now I've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105. Okie dokie, a lot of money. And then I'm going to tick, or not tick off, I'm going to scratch another one. While I'm doing that, um, update on the 1k giveaway is still happening. I do have my, what the, I nearly swore, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> How is it 20? Oh my God. Yeah, anyway, update on the 1k giveaway. I um. I'm still, do still doing it. I've got most of the things. I'm still waiting for one thing to come. Should be dispatched today. And then hopefully in next week's video, I can announce all of the details. It will be opened to like worldwide. Um, so yeah, I can ship anywhere. As long as it's somewhere that Royal Mail ships to, it's fine. Um, and yeah, I'm just waiting for that one item. And I need to stuff 20. So are the, all of these going to be fives then? Because if that's 105, 125, I suppose you could have a 15 or something or a 10. 20 pounds. God. All right, fine. So yeah, next week we'll be um putting 20 pounds in here. Fun times. Okie doke. I think that's it, right? We've got this change. I've got my change jar, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but in here, there's five, six, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. What the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So is that five, six, seventy nine? Yeah, six, seventy nine. So I'll put this change into the change jar, which is going towards an extra contribution to the stocks and the shares ISA. And I think that's it, right? Next week, we'll do the giveaway. Um, I'll have hopefully all the items for that and do the details. Hopefully I won't spend as much this week. Um, but yeah, I don't regret any of it. I'm really, now that I've booked the trip, I was scared to book the flights, to be honest. I was like, you're just going to spend this much money on flights. But I wanted to go with Qatar Airways because I watched a lot of videos, did a lot of research. They are apparently the best business class in the world. I want to try the Q Suites because they look amazing. And yeah. I wanted it, so I booked it. <laughs> that's that's the only way I could describe it. I wanted it, I had the money, so I booked it. And I'm looking forward to going. So I hope you guys have had a wonderful week, have an amazing weekend and a new week once it comes. And I will see you back here for more of the same next week, Friday. Bye, guys. <laughs>